let us now look at the purchase cost what is included what are the components of a purchase cost when we buy a commodity when we procure any item the price at which we buy the item is the purchase price that is the first major component first and major component of a purchase cost next any duties taxes etc which we have to pay on procuring the goods is added to the same similarly freight inward or carriage inward basically purchase cost the cost which consists of all costs incurred to bring the inventory to their current position and location and condition purchase cost is all cost incurred to bring inventory to its current location and condition all costs from when the item is bought right up to reaching of the stores reaching of the go downs would be considered as purchase cost therefore the purchase price duties and taxes which are involved any cost of transporting the goods and bringing them in other direct cost costs of unloading such material all costs incurred to bring them to the present location and condition is a part of the purchase cost what is not included in purchase cost is trade discount trade discount is anyway not a part of the books of account at all it is the price reduced price at which we receive the goods rebates rebates are also discounts only these rebates are refunded later we pay the price and get a refund later so if we expect these rebates they are excluded the rebates are removed from the cost of the good duty drawbacks suppose we pay a duty while we import a commodity and if we use this commodity to make another finished product which we then export we may get a duty drawback or a refund of the duty which we paid earlier in that case it would not form a part of the cost of the material any abnormal loss does not form a part of the cost of inventory inventory is valued at the normal cost and costs which are incurred due to some abnormal conditions would not be taken to be part of the purchase cost of a commodity or the cost of inventory storage costs all costs incurred to bring the item to that current location is included but the cost of storing the item is not included in purchase cost however if such storage costs are required to bring the inventory to the present condition an example could be wine which we need to store for 6 months to reach a particular quality in that case the storage costs of the wine for the 6 months would also be added to the cost of the wine this is because the storage has added value to the quality of the wine 
but in other circumstances usually the costs of storage would not be a part of the purchase cost administrative overheads the cost of administration the cost of policy the salaries paid to directors office employees etc do not form a part of it. purchase cost do not form a part of purchase cost do not form a part of cost of inventory similarly the costs incurred to sell items do not form a part of purchase cost in essence purchase cost includes all costs incurred to bring the goods to their current location and condition let us now work this exercise out to see if you have understood the concept of computing purchase cost a plastic items trader purchased 1500 units of plastic containers at the rate of rupees 100 each these were subject to duties of 8% the cost of transporting goods to the godown of the trader was rupees 15000 storage insurance amounted to rupees 1 per unit what would be the purchase cost of the plastic container in the books of the trader let us first compute this and then we will go on to compute go on to the second part of the question you may feel like pause this video and make your computations they purchased 1500 units at the rate of rupees 100 each the cost would be 1500 units of rupees 100 each per unit cost is 100 a total cost of 1 lakh 50000 these were subject to duties at the rate of 8% therefore this is purchase cost duties at the rate of 8% would be 12000 per unit 8 the cost of transporting the goods to the godown of the trader was rupees 15000 these are transport costs is 15000 therefore cost per unit would be 10 storage insurance amounted to rupee 1 per unit storage insurance is not a part of the purchase cost this would not be a part of the purchase cost therefore purchase cost of the containers would be 118 rupees per unit total cost of 1 lakh 77000 the b part or the next part of the question says if on a later date at the time of closing of the books of account the market value of these containers is rupees 115 and the sale of each unit would incur a cost of rupee 1 per unit what should be the per unit cost of these plastic containers which form a part of the closing inventory so basically rupees 115 is the price at which we can sell the basis of inventory valuation is cost or nrv whichever is lower cost is rupees 118 what is nrv nrv is the market value of these containers is 115 but in order to sell each unit we would have to incur a cost of rupee 1 so let us say a selling cost is rupee 1 so the net amount that we would get in our hands is only 114 what should be the per unit cost of these plastic containers which form a part of closing inventory cost 118 nrv 114 therefore 
inventory should be valued at rupees 114.